everyone. This is Heather with Cola Banker Advantage in Apex, North Carolina. Today, I want to show you how to create a image for Facebook. It can also be shared across other platforms if you want to. So there's a few things that you need to get together before we start the process. One, I need you to go to agent icon and I need you to select an icon image in there that you'd like to use and download it to your computer. The second thing I need you to do is go to Facebook, your business page and download the Meta Business Suite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it in there. The third thing and the most important thing I need you to do is um, make sure you have Canva account already downloaded. So after you do all those things, come back and let's get started on how to put an agent icon make it into your own personal design with your logo and your face, a picture of you, and then put it in Facebook so that you can schedule it for later. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go to Agent Icon. So Agent Icon is a great place to find lots of different images for you to use um, for postings. Here's a few right here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download one of these. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this one right here. Um, I can get you where you want to be home and I'm gonna download it to my computer. So that's step number one. I took the agent icon, I selected it and I downloaded it to my computer, which is right here. The next step we're gonna do is we are gonna go to Canva and I like to do Facebook posts because that's what we're creating is our Facebook post. So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna give us a blank screen. So now we wanna take our agent icon and put it onto our blank screen. So over here, we're gonna hit upload. We're gonna upload file and there it is right there. And I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna open it. And you'll see over here on the left, that it is downloading it into Canva. And it, now it just placed it on my blank image of Canva. So it's not the same dimensions as the Facebook post. The agent icon is square and the Facebook post is a little bit rectangle. So we're just gonna extend it as far as we can. And we have edges. Now, I know that if I keep extending it, this image will still work because we have a lot of blank space up on top. We're gonna stretch it down here so it fits the home in it. And move this up a little bit. And so now I have, I could get you where, and it's on the image. We wanna make it unique to us. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna add some things to it to make it uniquely us. Um, you can add text, you can add more pictures, you can add sparkles, but just to go pretty basically simple, here's two logos that I like to use. Um, we're going to go blue, but you can download lots of different logos. Um, for some reason, I just kind of like these long ones a little bit. I don't know why, but so add a logo, because whenever we post something, we need to make sure that everyone knows that if we're doing real estate, that we have an agency logo on our product that we're putting out there. The other thing that's important I find is that we have a picture of ourselves. The paid version, which is kind of cool, is if you hit edit photo. And the page version isn't that expensive. I think it's like $121 for the year, but you get a lot more um, items in it. Um, here's another thing that's cool. I don't necessarily like the way I'm sitting, so I'm actually going to flip my direction and have me facing the other way. And I'm a little too big, so I'm going to shrink me down here a little bit. Doo, doo, doo. Now, this is where you can go down a complete rabbit hole. Um, um, so I'm going to do text, and I'm going to add my name. Hopefully I spell it right. Oops. There's my name and I'm going to add my name. And a lot of times I um, 
up here is where you can change your font. And usually for my signature, I use the same font. Um, it's it's kind of like I've branded myself what this font is. And you can decide what you want to do and your colors or whatnot. So there's my name. And then maybe I want to add um, my phone number. Oops, I don't have the space there. And my phone number down here. And you can add a whole bunch of other things you want. And then if you have your own, if you created your own personal logo, you can also um, use that. But that's just kind of basically um, the basics of how I transform an agent icon into um, a Facebook post. Now we have our agent icon, put it into Canva. We created it, a personalization to it. And now we're gonna take it and put it in Facebook. So what you're gonna do is up here is you're gonna share and you're gonna download it. A PNG will work just fine and we'll download it. And now it's downloading onto my computer. So after it's downloaded, we're gonna go to Facebook and you wanna make sure you're on your business account. Now this is a whole other step that we're gonna learn and it's really cool is that Facebook Meta Business Suite, which is right here, has, it makes it have the opportunity to, for you to re, um, to schedule things. Or you do it on Monday mornings, you're gonna do social media for your week. You can actually set it up and do it all at one time. So you click on Meta Business Suite. And then over here where it says Planner, you click on Planner. So here you can see what I posted today and what I posted on Sunday, but we're gonna post on Tuesday. What's really cool about the planner is that you can see right here, it says what is the best time of the week to post something. That's when most people are on and it's already figured it out for you. So let's go to tomorrow for Tuesday and we'll click on it. And here's where we will put the information in. Um, it actually tells me the best time to schedule. It's not showing when FaceTime is, but it says tomorrow for Instagram is 9 a.m. Um, Thursday. So we're going to just do our 9 p.m. 9 p.m. for some reason. And then we'll do 10 p.m. for Facebook. And we're going to save it. So now you can see over here, it's scheduled it for 10 a.m. And it's scheduled it for 9 p.m. So what we're going to do now is we're going to upload that picture we had. So it's going to post to Facebook and Instagram. We're going to add a photo and we're going to upload it for a desktop because that's where we downloaded it from. And there it is. So as you can see, this is what it will look like. And then you can go over here and add text. Um, are you fine? There we go. So now that's kind of, and it kind of shows what it has over here. And here's our times again. And double check that it all says everything I wanted to say. Are you thinking of buying or selling your home? Curious to see it. Got an oops here. Make sure you proofread it, what the market value might be. Let's get together for a complimentary market value meeting today. You can contact me at my phone number, my um, email address, and I would love to get together. And then you can add some hashtags. I have some I've saved, so Apex, buyers of eight. I also like to add one that I use for me is um, other power deal. I like to add that one. I could tag Cobble Banker, I could tag other people, and you schedule it. And now it's set to run tomorrow at 10 and 9. And I'll come back to the Calendar and here you can see Facebook is at 10 and Instagram is at 9.
So there you have it. So anyway, so what we did today was we took an image from Agent Icon, put it into Canva and personalized it, and then put it in Facebook, the business meta suite. So it schedules it for you for later. Seems simple, doesn't it? Well, it, sometimes it can be a little tricky and that's understandable until you get the hang of it. Um, that's what this video is for, for you to go back and do um, a walkthrough again, or you can stop it and see where you're going. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my number and um, email will be down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you create. Um, until next time, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.